you know, if, if, if you're, you know, managing a brand or overseeing the e-com operations of a brand, you remember iOS 14, what happened, right? Where, uh, you know, essentially all of the Facebook privacy issues that kind of ended up sending customer acquisition costs to the roof for virtually every brand, right? So customer acquisition was just a, uh, a different animal uh, from then on, right? And then when you fast forward to iOS 15 that, you know, went into effect earlier this year, again, this is where Apple is now setting its sights on email, right? Uh, and email privacy. And so as a result, you know, brands that are sending their email campaigns are seeing open rates go down. Uh, they're seeing more more uh, emails going to that promotions tab and Gmail. And so when you, when you think of all of these things, like these are the ways a brand ac acquire and retains a customer and one by one, they're kind of uh, being negatively impacted by virtue of what you know Apple's doing. And again, Apple's doing this all with the interest of the end customer or consumer in mind, right? This actually benefits us in terms of consumer privacy in the end, right? So now fast forward to today, just about three, four weeks ago, Apple unveiled and launched iOS 16. And so iOS 16 essentially is now taking that sniper rifle and moving it right over to the SMS world, right? Um, when you think about yeah, that, yeah. though, that like that's where um, brands who have leveraged SMS are are really, you know, kind of stirred up right now. 